Visco. Hello everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I'm going to teach you guys on how we can do a point to multiple point setup for our this Ray wireless bridge EST310. So this is also applicable to 350 and also the Air Metro series. So all the wireless bridge series will be using the same method to do the configurations. So today I'm going to use this EST310 as a demonstration. Okay, so before we start, okay, so in the set of an AST310, there will be one pair of the wireless bridge, as you guys can see from here. So, one will be the recorder end, the other one will be the camera end. So, recorder end will be the base station, and then the camera end will be the CPE, so be the receiver. So, basically, their mode are actually vice versa. So, you can actually look into it and also set the mode to either is a recorder end or camera end. So which means it's base station or CPE. Okay, so for point to point is very simple. Simple. So as you guys can see, once you get power up, they will be auto pair up. So you can see the signal bar steady, signal bar steady. So which means this already done for the point to point. Okay, so what if we have another two more or one more? You want to make it as a point to multiple point. Okay, so maybe I get another camera end. So I want to pair it to the base stations. Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys on how we can do so. Okay, so first of all, you need to prepare a laptop or any PC, and then we should able to plug in the LAN cables. So for PC, uh, for laptop, you might need an adapter, or some some you guys already have the uh, Ethernet ports. Okay, so now we have the adapter and my LAN cables. Then for this, I just need to plug in to this camera end to do the configurations okay so as you guys see i already plugged in the LAN cable which connected to the pc for later on configurations so now this is a scenario i want i'm going to make this to pair to these space stations so as you guys see for now this already paired up and then this haven't paired up yeah so the light we don't have any light on the indicator okay so now i'm going to set up for this to here okay so let's just move on to our pc side for the configurations part okay so let us continue with the configuration parts so the, for the first thing we will need to change our laptop ip address to be the same as the ip range of our wireless bridge okay so we will right click on this internet option then we go to change adapter options. So just now I plug into my Ethernet too. So I just double click properties Ethernet protocol. So over here I will need to change to 10.44.77 range because our default IP for the wireless bridge will be 10.44.77.254. Okay, so I change to this range so I can access to it. I click OK to save it. Okay, so after we set it, we go on to our this browser. We type on the default IP address 10.44.77.254. So now we are on the login page. So the default IP address will be admin. Sorry, the password will be admin. Okay, and then we need to create a new password for it so you can just set for yourself and we'll click save okay so now we log in again yeah so now as you guys can see we already access into this so now this is as a cpe so now there's a no any base stations okay so once we log into here, so for the first thing we need to take note is the firmware version. So we need to firstly to upgrade the firmware for the wireless bridge first. So make sure that it is latest. You can go over to the device config upgrade update here. So make sure we update to the latest version. Okay, so after we update to the latest version, so now we can start our configurations. So you just need to simply, because this is as a CPE already, so we don't need to change the mode, so it's under CPE. So I just click scan device. 
yeah so you can see it will help me to check is any base station are in my network in the nearest okay so this is a cd15 is the mac address okay so we can just go ahead to our this base station and check whether the mac address is the same so is it the same so we just click on it then using the default password and then we bridge the device yeah so for here we just need to wait for it to be done okay so now we wait for a moment for it to be synchronized the data our oh, this bridge already successfully be bridges to the previous pair so now we i have a one two two so it's a point to multiple point yep okay so this is very simple so the configuration is already been done so i will show you guys on the light indicator on it okay so what if my this third device is in the base station mode because i already have an existing base stations i want to change this base station to an cpe so it can be connected to my existing base stations so here is the base station mode so i log in to the same method as just now so i just switch the mode click start and select the region and then i change the mode to cpe and then click next so from here i just click scan so now you can see this is my the existing base station i just click on it to connect it so i just click on the default and then click next so click save so now it will start to processing the configurations it's okay so now we just need to wait for it to be synchronized okay so after you wait for another 20 to 30 seconds you can see this page again so just now i already changed from the base station to a cpe and then to connect to an existing base station to fill the point to multiple point okay so this is how we can do the configurations okay so as you guys can see here our all this indicator already been stable which means they already paired up so i have one base stations and also two cpe yep okay so basically this is how the configuration be done so thank you for watching our videos so if you have any question just contact us again thank you see you guys in our next video bye bye visco